The Amazon River is known as the largest river in the world, but it's more than just a river. The Amazon Basin is almost as big as the whole continent of Australia. The river is so long that no one has managed to build a bridge across it yet. Every second, the Amazon River dumps 58 million gallons of water into the ocean. The Amazon River is fascinating. Recent discovery revealed that it has a hidden underground river just below it that hasn't been explored yet. The Amazon jungle is home to a plethora of living things, and scientists are regularly discovering more and more new species. Many giant creatures from prehistoric times used to live here, and their remains can still be found by many scientists. Now, new LiDAR technology has revealed that the Amazon was once inhabited by an ancient civilization. They made mind-boggling structures like these and these, but their origin and disappearance are still a mystery. Today, we are going to dive in these mysteries one by one. The Amazon River is shrouded in mystery. It is home to a dangerous wildlife, including anacondas, piranhas, catfish, caimans, and the elusive and highly venomous Bushmaster snake. These animals pose a significant threat to anyone who ventures too close to the river's edge. The red-tailed catfish are one of the largest species of catfish in the world and are found in the Amazon. Pretty aggressive and can grow into enormous sizes. Even sharks from the ocean come from a dip in the Amazon rivers. The bull shark is commonly seen around wandering. Candiru is a tiny fish, but don't go on its looks. It swim up its prey and sucks on its blood. These little rebels can cause death to their victims in a matter of minutes. They even insert themselves in human's urethra, and the unlucky person would require immediate medical attention or surgery. There is only one species of electric eel in the world, and obviously they are found in the Amazon. They are brimming with electric cells, and upon the shock of 800 volts, they can give respiratory and heart failure. There are infamous and dangerously aggressive piranha species in the Amazon River that tear away their prey like nobody's business. Then there's the black caiman, not an alligator or a crocodile, but still one of the largest reptiles in the world and the largest predator in the Amazon. They are definitely not to mess with. And the last on our list, but definitely not the least, is the anacondas. The Amazon is known for inhabiting the world's largest snakes. It was home to the longest and one of the largest animals in the entire world, the titanoboa. Just the comparison between the vertebra of the anaconda and the titanoboa shows how massive and enormous that snake was. Even in the present day, the Amazon gives shelter to green anacondas, which can reach up to 30 feet and weigh around 550 pounds. It's difficult to envision the way in which certain human tribes reside in this area today, as they still maintain their original culture and refuse to engage with our modern-day civilization. But scientists have made groundbreaking discoveries in the Amazon in the past few years. They have discovered remnants of ancient civilizations, such as the recent discovery of monumental structures that were abandoned nearly 600 years ago. These structures were concealed in the dense forests of Bolivia. This region is a floodplain that remains submerged underwater for several months each year during the rainy season a cyclical phenomena observed here for hundreds of years. Despite the unsuitability of these natural conditions for permanent settlements, scientists have found numerous traces of an ancient pre-Columbian culture here. The traces include not only man-made mounds left from the remains of pyramids, but also roads and canals and extensive irrigation systems. Radiocarbon analysis indicated that the cultural settlements were abandoned around 1400 AD. But the reason for their abandonment remains a mystery. In 2011, a group of scientists from Rio de Janeiro made a groundbreaking and unbelievable discovery. The studied data were collected from 241 abandoned oil wells in the area. They discovered the presence of a large underground flow 
located directly under the Amazon itself at a depth of 4 kilometers. Seismic sensors and other equipment at hundreds of old wells helped to identify the aquifer's location. It was determined that there is indeed a current and it flows the same flow direction as the Amazon, but its width and flow velocity is considerably lower than the Amazon. The existence of these rivers is unusual. But we can all agree that the Amazon is indeed one of the world's most diverse ecosystems along with even eerier discoveries. Hopefully, the more we discover, the more fascinating it will be to uncover the answers. Don't forget to like the video. See you next time.